Well, welcome back, everybody. You know, uh, folks, I spend so much time talking about Donald Trump scandals that I thought I would take a break and talk about something else. Eric Trump scandals. Because <laughs> there's breaking news about Donald Trump's second son and Odo from Deep Space Nine. <laughs> Eric Trump. For more than a decade, he's had a charity called the Eric Trump Foundation, which has used golf outings to raise money for children with cancer. But now, Forbes is reporting that Donald Trump actually shifted some of that charity money into his business. So Eric Trump's foundation <laughs> took money. It gets better. So, <laughs> Eric Trump's foundation took money meant for kids with cancer. Not only that, but a lot of those kids had to spend time with Eric Trump. <laughs> How it worked was that Eric would hold events on Trump golf courses and tell donors that because he got free use of the courses, all proceeds would go to St. Jude's Hospital. But it turns out, the courses weren't free. The Trump Organization received payments using them, part of more than $1.2 million of charity money that never made it to St. Jude's. Well, listen, listen, ah, come on. St. Jude is the patron saint of lost causes. Let's see how he is with lost cash. <laughs> Forbes adds that the listed expenses defy any reasonable justification for a one-day golf tournament, according to golf charity experts. <laughs> I just want to say, for all the sociology majors out there whose parents want to know what you'll do with your degree, I got three words for you. <laughs> Golf charity experts. <laughs> now, expert. Expert. Now, before you go hating on foundation head and Beavis plus butthead Eric Trump, <laughs> Keep in mind that this isn't totally his fault. Apparently, when Donald Trump found out that Eric's charity wasn't being billed for using his golf courses, Trump flipped out and said, I don't care if it's my son or not, everybody gets billed. <laughs> By the way, everybody gets billed is also the Republicans' replacement for Obamacare. <laughs> Donald Trump even donated funds from his foundation to Eric's foundation that were then used to pay the Trump Organization, a move that, according to Forbes, has more in common with a drug cartel's money laundering operation <laughs> than a charity's best practices. Oh, I, I think, listen, I think comparing the Trump family to drug dealers is a little unfair. Drug dealers make you feel good. <laughs> but keep in mind, I've heard, I've heard, I'm not into that scene. But keep in mind, there's been a lot of good done by Foundation Head and Skeleton Child from Nightmare Before Christmas, <laughs> Eric Trump. His charity has raised millions of dollars for sick children, plus they're close to finding a cure for whatever Don Jr. has that prevents him from closing his mouth. <laughs> Eric lashed out at his critics yesterday, tweeting, I have raised $16.3 million for terminally ill children at, at St. Jude with less than 12.3% expense ratio. What have you done today? Today? <laughs> Let me think. Oh, oh, today I found out about sick kids getting ripped off by Voldemort with hair. <laughs> we'll be right back with John.